time to check out the one true inescapable nuisance of Cartoon Network, Teen Titans Go. The series remains renowned for being profoundly stupid, corny, and insulting its viewers. So to celebrate the fourth season of Teen Titans Go, let's or, take a look or back as at a, the top or six as now, the worst eighth Teen Titans season Go of Teen Titans episodes. Go. And if you do happen to be a Teen Titans Go fan, that's great. It's just my silly personal opinion, and I'm glad you can enjoy the show. Anyway, let's do this countdown. Number six. Waffles. The fascinating part of this episode is that by seven seconds in, you've not only grasped the one joke they're going with, but you'll already be completely sick of that joke. Beast Boy and Cyborg can only say the word waffles over and over and over again. Whoever stops saying waffles first loses the game. And we are forced to hear this for a straight 11 minutes. This seems about the equivalent to your friends trying to annoy you while you're on a long car trip by repeating the same phrase into your ear for the whole car trip. We get songs about waffles. We get entire arguments with the word waffles. It wasn't particularly funny when siblings annoyed us for these games when we were six. Why would it be any funnier now? Okay, let's back up for a second. The purpose of a cartoon, from my understanding, is to entertain, thrill, laugh, or inform. But Waffles fails on every single possible level of those. And now, I suddenly feel like Waffles. Maybe this was a secret government ad campaign to promote the sale of Waffles to young teens? I don't know, but screw this episode. Let's check the next one. And for number five, Parasite. You. So this time, the creators decided what could be more pleasant than watching people eat parasites and worms. Then, lots of close-ups of throbbing, oozing parasites under Starfire's skin. Or parasites slowly consuming Robin's vital organs. <laughs> Someone call wow. a doctor! Wow. And then, in case you've still got any idea what this episode is trying to say, the parasite starts talking. Who feels like a jerk now? And, and, an episode and, about and what's like Kate and Mikuchi? Parasites just makes no sense. I think this show is meant to be a comedy. Yet typically, organisms that slowly consume the vital organs of our heroes is reserved for horror. On top of all that, this episode in particular really makes me miss Starfire when she was a socially awkward but thoughtful, kind alien. Not just a completely moronic, dribbling, vapid, annoying insult to the original character. Parasite manages to be creepy, wrong, ugly, and somehow boring at the same time. And the fourth worst Teen Titans Go episode is... Boys vs. Girls. So, apparently the Teen Titans weren't childish enough in previous episodes. <coughs> so they've now been reduced to the maturity of a six-year-old's Now Girls Allowed Treehouse Club. With lots of yelling and being a boy and showing off how incredibly gross girls are with their cooties. Boys are better than girls! I really don't know what happened with this episode. Did the writers get their children to write this episode? It's just so painfully stupid and stereotyping of genders. The plot for this episode? Well, if you're a girl, you're an emotional airhead that obsesses over how you look. And if you're a boy, you're a belching, obnoxious, self-absorbed, monster truck-loving little dweeb. That is just so dumb. And just to finish off, Robin says the girls all well. have cooties. Oh, gross. Okay, this doesn't even make sense to the characters or stories. Even in Teen Titans Go, Robin regularly flirts with Starfire and shows a real interest in smooching her. Why would he suddenly believe in something we grow out of by the age of six? Then Robin purposely infects the girls with what looks like herpes in order to give them cooties. I just don't even get what this episode is trying to say. This episode isn't pro-patriarchy or pro-matriarchy. It's just plain stupid. And regardless of the bending of your Y chromosome, you will very likely be insulted by this episode. And the third worst Teen Titans Go episode is... Let's get serious. Since the Titans were being panned by critics, the writers decided to make fun of the critics for being too serious. 
And they throw in a few insults at a classic piece of modern animation like Young Justice while they're at it. Classy. Because clearly it's stupid on our part to expect Teen Titans Go to be anything more than a one-dimensional fart joke that has long overstayed its welcome. I don't know if they were even trying to entertain their audience with this episode. It seems far more like they were just trying to make fun of every person who criticizes them. Honestly, apart from Family Guy, I've never seen a professional writing team put so much time into insulting their viewers and critics. I don't know if the writers felt better after making this episode or if they proved whatever point they were trying to make, but it's certainly among the most unpleasant, aggravating episodes of the show. And the second worst Teen Titans Go episode is The Fourth Wall. This episode is just continually watching the Teen Titans Go team continually insult us directly. A solid 10 seconds of Beast Boy shaking his butt on the front screen. Yep, we're off to a good start. Now they're determined to make fun of anyone who asks the show for humor beyond crap jokes. No more dookie jokes! We do smart people comedy from now on! And of course, to the Teen Titans Go creators, this means anything more classy than crap jokes is highbrow humor, which to the childlike minds of the creators seems to mean being British with cups of tea. This episode really gets under my skin. The animation in this one in particular is just uglier than any other episode I've seen. The colors make me physically queasy. This episode particularly has no structure whatsoever, apart from making fun of the audience. Teen Titans Go! just continually gets passive-aggressive at its audience and continually sticks these small jabs at us. And we finish the episode with a solid 30 seconds of the entire Teen Titans Go! team farting to music to stick it to those high-brow critics. This episode, even by Teen Titans Go! standards, is hideous, purposely insulting, and unpleasant to watch. And before we get to number one, I'd like to go through the quick honorable and dishonorable mentions. Think about your future. This is gonna sound crazy, but I actually really like this episode. It was very self-aware and openly makes fun of itself over how silly the characters have become, rather than their usual trend of insulting the viewers. I actually kind of like the Teen Titans when they're older and how they actually managed to beat up the young Teen Titans. <laughs> Strength. I found the episode okay. Serious business. Can we at least agree if you start your cartoon off with the PP dance? You probably aren't setting the bar very high for animation. The Teen Titans are enjoying the toilet too much. But then the toilet flies away to join all the other flying toilets in the sky. That's it, we're done. The bottle episode. What could be worse than Teen Titans Go? A Teen Titans Go? Filler episode. I feel like this entire episode was just a back by the writers to see how far they could push the Teen Titans mindless stupidity without Cartoon Network cancelling their show. And with those said, here we go. I still and cannot believe the show is in its eighth season. The Teen Titans Go episode is The Return of Slade. Finally, a true villain is returning. After two seasons of nothing, the Teen Titans are actually going to do something. Titans Go! <laughs> Managed to top the endless, vapid stupidity, memes, camera mugging, and absolutely nothing happening by purposely reeling in fans of the old show, slapping them in the face, and telling them they're stupid for thinking a kid's show should have intelligence in it, and then telling them they need to grow up. Well, it's time to grow up. We finally get the most pants on head idiotic message from the writers ever. If you make cartoons that appeal to both kids and adults, then apparently you are destroying cartoons. This message is just so wrong. Don't give your kids challenging content. Just give them clowny, age-appropriate stuff. And the rest of the episode is basically watching this long insult to every single viewer who thinks the show should be smarter. The director of Teen Titans Go! is quoted saying, Our job is to make this show stupid because it's aimed at kids. And this episode is nothing but a continual hammering in of that incredibly insulting, shallow message. It's purposely misleading, 
has a bad message, it's stupid beyond comprehension, and downright insulting. I personally consider it the number one worst Teen Titans Go episode. If Teen Titans Go does teach us anything, it teaches us how important passion is. If you're passionate about your cartoon and respect your audience, then you know they deserve better than just a string of juvenile jokes. They deserve character depth, good writing, and decent animation. And I'll be glad when this temporary fad fades from memory and we can remember the real Teen Titans. Do you think I missed a particularly bad episode? The most common suggestion for this list was all of them. And frankly, it's hard to argue with that. But if you've got a particularly bad episode you think I missed, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.